What's good, y'all, man? We back with another video, man. How y'all feel on great today, man? Um, today we got 20 toughest riddles provided. I don't know. Prove or oh yeah, prove I'm not sure. Like, um, I guess it's like little 20 riddles that like, can you see? Can you see if you can you solve it or not? So we finna see, can we solve some of these riddles? Yeah, I think it's this video, man. There was an incident in a secret laboratory. One of the scientists released a substance that turned people into vampires. Detective Reed arrived at the scene to interview three witnesses. All right. The first scientist, Wait, Michael, in, said, man. I stopped by the lab this morning to pick up some notes. The machines were working just fine, and I didn't see anyone. I took the papers and left. The second scientist, Lindsay, said, okay. I closed the lab at night. One of the PCs was faulty, but I was very tired and decided to leave it till the morning. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I overslept. And the third scientist, Jennifer, said, I got up early and went to the lab to check the devices. No one seems to have entered the room. I fixed one of the computers and left. Mm. Which one of them was lying? Hold on, bro. So the one in the middle, she went in and she said one of the computers was messed up and she overslept or something like that. The one on the right says she fixed the computer and left. He said he just grabbed some papers and left. I feel like the science is lying. The man. It, I don't know, bro. I don't know this one. I don't know. Probably the scientists, bro. Michael is lying. I knew it, One bro. One of the computers was actually faulty, and Jennifer spent the whole morning fixing it. If I Michael it, had walked bro. into the lab, he would have known about it, or Jennifer would have noticed him. So he must have entered the lab after the others had already left. Mm -hmm. But why would someone release such a dangerous substance? Michael didn't want to confess, so Detective Reed decided to investigate the crime scene to find out who was behind this. Take a look at this picture. Is Man, there yeah, anything bro. suspicious? Wait. Anything suspicious? I don't see nothing though. I mean, other than other than the obvious, bro. Like, I don't see nothing else. I guess the computer. Sure. My name is Todd Howard. I'm It looks like Michael dropped an ID card. And look, it doesn't belong to him. The name on the oh, card George is George Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> Let's ask him about the incident. Detective Reed went to Mr. Wilson's office to ask him about the incident. Oh yeah, I gave my pass to Michael, Mr. Wilson said. But that's only because I had left something in the lab. My glasses. I didn't have time, so I asked Michael to pick them up. Well, that's not a very clever excuse, but how can you prove the man is lying? Let me see. So he asked Michael to go pick his glasses up. I mean, you could say he's lying because he don't have his glasses on right now. I'm guessing. But I don't know. He's gonna have it on right now, I guess. There's an open glasses case on the table and the glasses are inside. But Mr. Wilson, didn't you say that you left them in the lab? Oh, did I say my glasses? Sorry, <laughs> I meant my papers. I made this mistake because I asked my secretary, Shirley, to look for my glasses yesterday. Find something to prove Mr. Wilson is lying. So he asked her to look for his papers yesterday, for his glasses yesterday. I don't know, bro. Um... I don't know this one now. I don't know. I don't know this one. I don't know this one. There's a calendar on Shirley's desk. Yesterday was her day off. It's marked red. Oh, Mr. Wilson okay. is lying. Mr. Wilson was arrested, but people have already begun to turn into vampires. Can you guess who's actually a vampire? I don't know, bro. Maybe the one that's in the middle. Maybe the one in the middle. I don't know, man. Maybe the one in the middle. 
The woman on the right, uh. she's putting on her makeup, but do you see? She isn't reflected in the mirror. Meanwhile, oh, those who I haven't turned it. into vampires gather everything they might need to survive. Which of these people is more likely to stay alive? Let me see. She got some bread and some some onions and what? He got glasses, a hammer, a saw. He's definitely gonna survive. I guess the dude in the middle, because he got a whole he got a whole suit on. I'm guessing it's a dude in the middle. It's either, it's either the guy in the middle or the far right one, bro. Probably the guy in the middle, though. Because he got a mask on. All these supplies won't protect the guy on the right from vampires. As for the girl on the left, she's stocked up on what she can to defeat the vampires. She has a higher chance of survival. What? Let's check out the subway. There are two women here. That. Which of them is not pregnant? She's not pregnant. I'm guessing this the one on the right. I mean, cause the one on the left, she got like little bumps or something on her. Like what? I don't know, bro. The girl on the left is not pregnant. Look, yeah. her belly is of a very strange shape. That's oh, because she you has hidden her survival pregnant. supplies under her clothes. Vampires decided to throw a party. Who among those present is actually an undercover human? The one on the left, obviously. Look at him, bro. You can tell. That's easy. The guy on the left is a human. He's wearing makeup and false teeth. Nikki That's is easy, also brother. trying to survive. She packs her things and decided to move to a neighboring town. But suddenly, a vampire charred at her car. He damages the vehicle and takes away some supplies. Fortunately, he doesn't manage to bite Nikki. She escapes. Nikki has to stay home. The next day, a young man knocks on her door and asks for help. Is it okay to let him in? No. Look at his face. Nope. He has the same scar on his cheek like the vampire from the day before. See, this isn't too easy. I need some harder riddles. Like, I need some that ain't gonna make me think. This ain't making me think at all. It's common sense. Nikki continues to hide at home. One day, some girl starts knocking on her back door. Please help! A pack of vampires is chasing me! Nikki opens the door. The girl is out of breath. But she manages to say, They're almost here. Can I come in? Is it safe to let her in? No. Because she could be a vampire. Obviously. No, this girl is a vampire. Anyone in this situation would immediately run inside the house, but vampires can't come in without an invitation. Nikki was checking her house and suddenly noticed that there was someone in the attic. She approached the shadows. It was a father and daughter. Please don't kick us out. Sorry, we snuck in without permission. We've been trying to hide from the vampires. The father said, is it safe to let them stay? No, bruh. That's, how, that's that same dude that had this scar on his face, wasn't it? I ain't tripping. Same dude. Yes. Firstly, they're sitting in the sun, yeah. but their skin seems to be okay. Secondly, they managed to enter the house without an invitation. I don't care. I don't care. That you means don't they're care humans. About that. Nikki let them stay. Let's take a little break. Time for some quick riddles. Think fast. A vampire lived in a one-story black cottage. He had a black cat, a black fish, a black computer, a black armchair, a black desk, and Dang, a black, black phone. Everything was black. What <laughs> color was the staircase? Oh. Wait, what? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. It was white. There was no staircase in that house because it was a one-story cottage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way I are see it, fast. No the way, first bro. vampire says, Two other vampires are walking behind me. The second one says, One vampire is walking behind me, and one is walking in front of me. And the third one says, Two vampires are walking in front of me, and two are walking behind me. How is that possible? 
Okay, so he said two is walking behind him. One, two. He said one is walking behind him and in front. He's in the middle. Two is walking in behind him and in front of him. Wait, two is walking behind him. And two walking in How, bro? Because ain't nobody. So if two walking in front of him. I don't know. Maybe because he's not a vampire. I don't know, bro. Maybe because he's not a vampire. These vampires are walking in circles. Humans, vampires, and werewolves gathered in one mansion. Wow. There are as many werewolves as there are vampires. There are as many vampires as there are humans. How many creatures are there if three of them are werewolves? How many creatures are there if three of them? Wait, I ain't even hear what he said. Let me go back. Humans, vampires, and werewolves gathered in one mansion. There are as many werewolves as there are vampires. There are as many vampires as there are humans. How many creatures are there if three of them are werewolves? What? How many creatures are there if three of them are werewolves? Are they, are they all are the same. They are all the same. If three of them are werewolves. I don't even know, but I ain't gonna lie. This is crazy. They got it. All this werewolf and all this other one. There are nine creatures in the mansion. Three werewolves, three vampires, and three humans. Now sense. let's go back to Nikki and her adventures. Nikki, Peter, and his daughter Becky decided to go to another town together. It takes two days to get there. They drove all day until night fell. Now they have three options. First, they can continue driving until the morning, despite the fact that they may meet a lot of vampires along the way. Second, they can spend the night in the nearest cave with bats. And third, they can sleep in the car. Which option would be the safest for them? It will probably be the safest. It's just, it's just, it's just to keep driving, bro, and then you go through the vampires, bro. Because then again, you, you'll get them out the way. And then if you sleep in the car, they might come and get you while you in, you hear me? So I'll ride as you keep on going. And, and, and encounter vampires on the way. Please welcome an absolutely new cross out. If Sleeping in the car is a bad idea. Vampires mm -hmm. can sneak up on them in the middle of the night. A night in a cave is also a bad option. You know what I'm saying? Vampires right, can hide going. among these bats. The safest option is to keep driving. Although they'll probably meet vampires, they have a chance to survive if they drive faster. They drove really fast and managed to reach the city by the morning. But when they got out of the car, they discovered they were surrounded by vampires. To escape, they need to choose one of three roads. On the first road, there's a pack of vampires. They're coming straight at the guys. There are wild hogs on the second road. The third road leads through a dark alley with hundreds of bats. Which of these three ways is the safest? The middle one, bro. If the vampires will go to them, they'll, they'll, and they'll eat them, eat the dollars instead. I'll go to the middle one. The second way is the best option yeah. because the sun illuminates it, so vampires can't follow Nikki and her new friends. Plus, these dogs don't look too unfriendly. The guys reach three stores. Now they need to decide which of the stores is safe to enter? Nikki, Peter, and Becky look through the windows to see what's inside. The first store is empty, but it seems to be full of traps. The second store is full of survivors, but they look dangerous. And the third store seems empty as well, but it's completely dark there, and you can't see anything except for dozens of bats. Where should Nikki lead her friends? All right, I already go through the traps, bro, it's just, and just like watch your step in there. I already go through the traps. You never know the people on that middle. The first store is the safest. If yeah. Nikki, Peter, and Becky notice these traps, then the chances it's are high they'll be able to avoid them. It's yeah, worth it's a try. 
There's a man in the city who's trying to survive by hiding among vampires. Nikki spent a week photographing vampires to figure out who he was. Will you be able to see who is actually human in these photos? They, they got the big eyes right here. He right there too. Right there too. So yeah. yeah. You can see this man has all four photos. In one of the photos, he's eating garlic bread. And in this one, his leg is exposed to the sun. He's only pretending to be a vampire. Nikki and the others decided to invite this man to join their group. The man was delighted and said that his name was Douglas. He was a journalist looking for safe places for people. He suggested creating a password that only humans could figure out. They came up with this one. H-A-W-U-H. Can you guess why? H A W U H H A W H A W H A W H A W I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Where is it? If you look at the reflection of this word in the mirror, you will see HUAN or H U W A N. Flip the letter W and you get the word human. human. Oh, okay. But only those who get reflected in the mirror will be able to solve this puzzle. Nikki and her friends settle down in this town. Can you guess which of these houses belongs to Nikki? In which Peter and Becky live? And in which Douglas has chosen? All right, so I know they they two together. I don't know. Um, he might she she might get the far right house. He might get the far left. He might get in the middle. The man that man might get in the middle. Though. House number one belongs to Peter and Becky. There are two bicycles next to it. Oh, okay. House number two oh, so they, belongs so they, to they, the journalist. Be together. Do you okay. see his equipment? And the remaining house, house number three, belongs to Nikki. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Some of these rules were like crazy, bro. <laughs> man, like, um, but it did make you think, though, for sure. Uh, hope you guys like the video, man. See y'all tomorrow, bro.